Hi Leo, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for December 23rd through, let's see, December 23rd through January 22nd. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to the Rosy Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading. I have my cat chiming in over here. <laughs> but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Leo, let's take a look. What aren't they telling you? What they aren't telling you? Okay, that's a... <laughs> mm -hmm. How you doing there? Hold on a minute. No, I don't like that. You stay off the furniture. And this would have been pulled also. So we've got... Eight of Swords and the Hermit. Mm. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's talking. He's got a lot to say today. All right. So I'm going to do both of those because the other one was left here. So this is um, the Hermit, which could be Virgo, and the Eight of Swords. So really thinking about a situation that you're not sure, like you just, you feel like your hands are tied. Maybe you're getting, um, it, it could be the balance of considering what a lot of people are telling you if you're consulting or if you're talking to a lot of people about it and then internalizing that or at least going away to think about that thinking about your situation thinking about what your friends have said to uh, figure out what to do but you've kind of been in this situation for a while really not knowing what to do um kind of feeling like your hands are tied and uh, i don't know what to do yet the thing about this though is that it feels like there are options, but you're really heavily considering them because once you start down that road, you know that there's going to be no going back. You're going to set something in motion to where the cat's out of the bag and you're going to have to stay the course and you just want to make sure that it's the wisest move possible for you. All right. Page of Swords. Eight of, I was going to say, eight. eight of Cups. Oh, but yeah. Good Lord. Just a minute. No. I don't know. Four of Swords. I, I'm laughing, not at this. I'm laughing because I'm just getting pawed over here. Five of Swords. No, that's Nine of Swords. That's a Nine of Swords. Knight of Wands, Leo. Queen of Swords, that's Libra. Oh, my God. Can you hear him? Can you, Knight of Swords. This could be Aquarius. Aquarius, Libra, Leo. Wow, look at that. Queen, Page, and Knight of Swords. Oh, Leo. Gracious. Okay. All right. Let me get the little guys here and make sure my little guy doesn't hop up here. Okay. Hmm. The thing is, you, mm. all right, so we've got an ending here, but for some reason you're still in it, you're thinking about your next move. This very well could be uh, because there are other factors involved, property, money, kids, um, certainly not in that order of importance, but wondering what your next steps are here, truly. All right, so we've got two eights. This is something's come up that you've recently been made aware of, right? That's not fun, obviously. What's this Queen of Swords about? What's this Queen of Swords about for Leo? King of Swords. Okay, that could be uh, Gemini. Could be Libra, Aquarius. Wow. What's this Eight of Cups? This Eight of Cups. Oh, Eight of Cups. All right, so this is someone that is like, look, I got to go. I got to do my thing. I got to go do my thing. We need to just wrap this up. We need to, okay. This is Four of Swords. Wow. Four of Swords. 
Could be that your communication, oh my goodness gracious, Queen of Swords. Could be your communication right now is really relying on online, um, indirect, like, you know, uh, text messages, phone messages, but there's not direct communication. What's this Page of Swords about? this page of swords about knight of swords queen of swords eight of cups twice oh gracious they've got it they got it they there's just something that they feel like they have to do my cat is being very vocal so apparently this is something <laughs> i don't want to relegate it to that but honestly they're they're quite chatty What's this nine of swords for Leo? And I'm not, I don't mean to make light of the reading either. What's this nine of swords? The magician. Okay, fair enough. This is someone, honestly, Leo, that is like, I got to go do this. I got to go do whatever it is. This is, I got to go do it. I'm not happy about it, but... I, I, there, I've got, my allegiance is over here. My connection is over here. Whatever it is, I have got to leave you and I, and I've got to go do the thing, whatever the thing is. And the, they, at the same time, it very, it very well could be in an effort to resolve something. Um, but it's something that has kind of been this issue for them for quite some time. And they, um, I kind of feel sorry for him because it, it doesn't feel like they, um, they're not happy about it. Like they're, they're going through something and they, they're having to deal with it. And yet you two are still interconnected somehow. And they're not happy about having to keep everything like this, but there's something they've got to go deal with. Um, and they're at the same time, they don't want to, but they have to. Like they, they have to cut things off with you because they got to go deal with the thing. And it doesn't feel like it's a relationship per se. It feel, well, for some of you, it very well might be, right? But what's this Knight of Wands about? There's, there's Leo. What's this Knight of Wands about? Ten of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? Yeah, I'm very sorry. What's this Knight of Swords about? This is somebody that, we got the Three of Wands here. This is someone that, whether they're happy or not, whether no matter what they say, like, oh, I got to really go do this. It is easier, and I don't doubt that they do, but it is easier to, to cut the connection off with you than it is to resolve the thing. No matter how much they might say they want to get ahead of it and resolve this, I got the Knight of Swords all over the place here, Magician, King of Swords. This is someone that will still accommodate whatever that something is um, rather than to deal with it. They don't want, the, what they're not telling you is they don't want to leave you behind or leave this behind, but they will because they have to and the have to far outweighs their desire to not want to. There is something that almost compels them to walk away from the connection with you and this perhaps is not the only time it's happened and the reason why you're going through this is because they come back again and you're maybe thinking, man, no, nope, because they're going to do it again. This is someone that is not happy about having to walk away, but they do. And it's easier if you don't hold them accountable. This is someone that is just going to be, they're trying, you know what it feels like? Honestly, it feels like somebody that has either an addiction and they, they, they need to just go and do that and handle it because they're, they're starting to get fidgety or what, and I don't mean to make light of it, but this is someone that is trying to do something on their own and they can't and they need help and they won't accept it. There's that. Um, this also could be somebody that is caught in a, an ongoing like contractual agreement with somebody else. And no matter how much they want to be with Leo, they have to go back and honor some kind of something. Um, it could be a marriage, a divorce. Uh, it doesn't feel like an affair, but it feels like things aren't finished. So it could be that. But there's somebody that whatever's over here is compelling them to go back to it. And it would just make it easier if you would let them go and not hold them accountable because they already feel like crap enough. <laughs> um, 
but this is not the first time you've been here with this person. And it's somebody that is trying to do the best they can on their own. And for as much as they say they're trying to resolve something, they might be telling you that they really, it would make it a lot easier if they didn't have you to be accountable to because they know in their heart of hearts that there's no end in sight, at least in the immediate future for what they're dealing with. No matter how much they try to get ahead of it. Got swords all over the place here. This is someone that can't seem to leave the past behind. Um, they're, they can't control it. It's out of their hands. Even though they might be telling you different, like, well, I'm going to really work on this or see about this. Well, I'm going to try this. It's actually quite easier if you were to cut things off and to just move on. Because they, they know in their heart of hearts they can't control it. They can't affect the change that would be necessary for you two to progress. I actually, I, I feel like they can't help it. And I, it's kind of sad. So if you're thinking that it's because they don't care, they don't, it's not that. It's just that it can't compete with what they're contractually obligated to, whatever that is, whatever they've obligated themselves to. Um, it could very well be, wow, that they're still working through some issues with a um, another partnership. Might even be a romantic partnership, let's be honest. What's this? What else for Leo here? What else for Leo? And I don't like how the, the moon keeps jumping out at me here. I don't like how, okay, so we got the hanging man. This is about you letting go. We got the four swords here the queen of swords this is about you cutting off deciding all right if, if there were, i'm not doing this anymore i'm not doing the back and forth with this person anymore and i'm letting go i can't control they can't control it and it's not worth it to them enough i'm not worth it enough i'm going to be letting go i can't i can't control them controlling it i'm letting go and then the forward progression for you starts once you let go once you accept that you can't it's not personal uh, even though you're involved, right? But that you can't control their actions. No matter what you do, no matter what you do, you can't fix what they're going through and you can't make it okay for them to finally be able to commit to you and to progress. You can't do it. I, I feel like there's um, more to this than you... And that, that's been coming up a lot lately. Like ever since December, there's like a lot more... And that moon is jumping out at me. There's a lot more that you don't know about this as to as far as what's entailed and why it weighs so heavily on them. There's more to the story. And at the same time, it's kind of best that you don't know because you, you can't fix it. And it's not being cold. It's just tapping out because your resources are starting to get depleted and you're not available to the rest of those who depend on you or who you love or who you want to be with. What else for Leo? Whoopsie. Okay, that jumped. Our connection still affects me. Yeah, it does. What else for Leo? It, it, it bothers me because they might be making promises of like, I'm going to fix this and this and that, but it, they're not. They can't. It's part of they, they can't, and because they can't, they're not going to, and they won't. And that might be... I don't think they can accept it. I don't think they can tell you that to your face. Um, and I'm not being cruel here. I'm just, I, I think, so it's almost like they might be doing things to make you leave them because it'd just be easier on them if you did. Uh, this says, I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. I picked that one because it jumped and then this is what I pulled. All right. What else for? for Leo. Leo. Hmm. Home. Good. Uh, I don't think this speaks to this person feeling like home to you. I think this is about you needing to go back home. You've given all you can to this and I think you need to just stop and go back home. Go back to where it feels home. Go, go back to where others can support you and resource you and uplift you and to where things are cozy and comforting again. Because you've been out here um, almost too long with this. Honestly, this, is, this has been, this has taken quite a toll on both of you. 
for you. You need to get back to where uh, you're familiar and grounded and resourced. Leo. Okay. So this is um, stability with someone not choosing the stability, with a broken connection, a someone not able to make that commitment. This is a question of stability with that. And you've been you've been here before with this person. The thing about this is, is that it stops affecting you when it stops affecting you, when you make the choice. And that's what's been so hard for both of you to make the choice to not anymore. So it I hate to say it's as simple as that. It doesn't mean it's easy. But it really the, the transition and the breakthrough begins when you when you let go. There is no play or that will play to an empty audience. I forget what the saying is, but it's kind of true in, in this. It's like, well, I don't know what I, I don't. They won't accept if I say no or this. They don't have to. It's important that you say it, not that they accept it, because that's the first foot forward. So if you're trying to gain ground on this, if you're trying to detach and let go, it starts with behavior and you start setting up the behavior in the physical world to detach and then the emotions follow eventually. It's not easy, but it happens that way or it will happen for you. Um, but I, I don't envy, the, I'm sorry for the Leos I'm reading for, I know this is rough. This could be Gemini, by the way, uh, Taurus or Libra. But if you've been really struggling to break free of this, you're gonna have to do it physically before you do it emotionally. That's gonna be your best support system for detaching. All right, um, love and support to you with this, Leo. Um, just please take a break and get back to where you're resourced, okay? This is this is taking a toll on both of you. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading, and I thank you for stopping by. You take care.